What is going on guys? Welcome to part nine. I think it's part nine. Of how to open a barbershop. Guys, this is the, not the final video, but it is time to put everything together. You can see I'm in the shop. Last we talked, I was not happy with the floor. You guys can see, I know there's some reflection, but we got some black epoxy with some, I think they call them like paint chips in it, but it looks a heck of a lot better. Everything is almost finished. They still have to paint the walls, put the trim back down and the shampoo bowl and sink got put in today. But in this video, we're gonna be assembling everything. I'm gonna start with the lights. I'm gonna go next door, start to assemble the light you guys asked for me to show you everything in detail so i'm going to show you guys how they snap together how i'm going to hang them up how we're going to do everything else over here by the end of this video we're going to have a finished barber shop and we can move on to opening day all right so we are next door i got all the lights right here i'm in kind of one of the cubicles that i have everything stored at we got a long hallway right here that is the same length as next door so what i'm going to do is start building the lights kind of lay them in this hall right here as long as they're not too wide so i can see how long they're going to go we can kind of plan out how they're going to go now i don't know if you guys can see this but they are made to go in a rec rectangle you guys can see like my room with a box around it but I got the idea from my girl Nicole Renee and her shop they built them different so it's kind of like Legos right they're all going to snap together we can build it in whatever pattern that we want as long as we got enough pieces you guys will see that as we get going but essentially guys I'm going to start to build them out you guys will see the shape as I get a few going I'll show you the shape probably just going to time lapse once I show you guys how to connect them all together and I'll show you once they're done we're going to lay them all out and then we can just carry them over there hang them up in the ceiling and I will show you guys that as well so let me get a couple out I'll show you guys how they connect and then we'll put them all together all right guys so I have some of the parts I want to show you guys somewhat how it works. So we have pieces like this. There's longer ones, shorter ones. These shorter ones, I think they're 18 inches, are for the hexagon part, not the rectangle. And we have some different connectors. We got a triangle. Well, it's not a triangle, but it's a three, kind of like the, the Kobe symbol. And then we have a elbow that is not a 90. This is like a 45 degree elbow. So basically, we're going to put these on every corner of the six to make the hexagon, right? At any point you want to, you can put this in. It's the same degrees here with an extra plug. And then our cord is going to plug in there. And then this will run over and plug in. So that's where you guys can put your cord anywhere in the whole configuration. And it'll show you that you can put it in the rectangle as well. You just put one that has an extra slot. You plug the cord into it and go. So I'm going to be building it two hexagons, one, two, one, two, one. So instead of the rectangle, it's going to be more long. We should be able to get like 40 or 50 feet out of two of these boxes together. And I have four boxes. So one row down one side, one row down the other. So I will show you guys real quick. I'm going to click them together and then I'll time lapse it and we'll get through it. So on the end, we have a hole here and you guys can see on the plug, there is a piece right here. So basically we're just going to put it in there and you guys want to make sure you push it all the way in. There is a lock right here that this clear piece should lock into and that is in there. So what I'm going to use is this is going to be my first light with the extra hole for the cord. And then we're going to build a grid. So I'm going to start kind of building and you guys can check it out. All right, so these are so much bigger than I realized. So this is going to be our end, right? So this is going to have the cord. It's going to plug in. And you guys can see from here and here, I have a connector. So our next hexagon is going to go right here and another one on that side. And I'm going to go ahead and lay these on the ground because they're humongous. I don't even know if they're going to fit in my hallway, but we will see. I'm going to build some of this and let you guys check them out. All right, guys, so you can see this is the original one that I built. And then you can see the stack one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I think. And basically, we'll take this one over, hang it up, plug it in, bring one over, attach it at these two endpoints, and uh, just kind of work our way down. So I'm gonna plug it in, let you guys check it out. You guys can see the cord just goes in this extra end. Plug it in. So there it is, guys, super sharp. I, don't, I wouldn't really judge the light over here, it's a little bit dark and kind of yellow, but we will get back in here maybe tonight and start hanging these things up. I got two more boxes to put together and then we'll get to it. All right guys, it is nighttime. We're up at the shop. We're about to start hanging the lights right up here. I got these ceiling tile mounts. Basically you put them on the metal piece here. You slide them together. They lock on the ceiling tile piece and you have a little hook. And then we're gonna take this chain. We're gonna hook it onto this chain and each of the adapter pieces where the uh, light pieces snap together have a hole in them and we can put them on here. So we're gonna have to bring it over here, kind of lift it up there, see how far apart these need to be. You can put these up there. We'll hang the hook on it, hang the light on it, and they will hang this far from the ceiling. So we're gonna hang them, I think these are eight inch chains. They're gonna hang eight inches down from the ceiling. This is a 10 foot ceiling. So as soon as the guys get here, we're gonna pull the ladder over here. I'm gonna get up there, have them start bringing me all the panels or the light, whatever you wanna call it, I guess panels, and we'll start hanging them up, so. All right, 
you guys can see I got one up there. I got a couple hangers. I'll probably adjust the hangers a little bit. Kind of hard to tell when you're up on the ladder. I want them to try to hang pretty flat. So I'll kind of see more or less when a connector lines up with part of the ceiling grid. I'll just try to tie it in there so they can hang pretty much straight down. But so far it is looking like it's pretty flat. Now I'm just gonna have them start bringing in the rest of the panels and basically we will hang it next to it and then connect it in right there. Just work our way all the way down and then we'll plug it in and check it out. All right, they are all installed. We're about to plug them in and hit the light switch. So we're about to see how good we did. Not too bad of a project. And if they work right, we'll be done with that side. We can go ahead and throw them up on this side. I'm about to run out of battery, so I don't know if I'll time lapse the whole thing or anything, but I'll definitely get it when it's all done. You guys can check it out after we get this side done too. All right, y'all, that's it. Second one took, how long the second one take? 20 minutes. You guys know once you get going, it, you just kind of figure it out. But yeah, these things are crazy. All right, guys, so that's it. You guys can see lights all the way down, all the way above the barber chairs. These things look sick, so I will definitely put them down below if you guys want to check them out. Fellas, what do we think? Next level. Next level. We said now the old shop gonna be mad, so we, we, might have to, we might have to put them in the old shop later. We might do a renovation, but that is it for tonight. I'm gonna come back in the next day or two and get started on the mirrors. Actually, they got a paint. They're about to paint and finish the electrical, and then we'll come back and start putting the mirrors and the TVs up. All right, guys, so we're about to hang the mirrors up. What I'm gonna do, I've already mapped out where I wanna do them. I want them perfectly staggered. So I'm gonna go ahead and go down this wall. My guy JT is on the way. We're gonna mark the center of every mirror. So we're gonna space our stations with seven feet. So I'm gonna basically mark my first mirror where the middle's gonna be. I'm gonna measure over seven feet from that, mark the next one all the way down. We're gonna do four on each side. So I will have the center. Then I'm gonna take my laser level right here. I have it sitting on top of the station with a little gap. It's gonna basically put the mirror three inches above this station. You guys can see the line here. So I'm gonna go line this up with my center mark that I'm gonna mark on a piece of tape. I'm gonna mark it. And then every seven feet will have that same line. So I'll put this line on there and I'll know that my bottom brackets for my mirror need to go on this line right here. Then I will take my level, hold it up to this, and I'm gonna put them three feet apart. So I'll put one on the line, on the center line, put one out a foot this way and a foot that way, and my mirrors are four feet. So that will put three mounts underneath. Then later we'll bring the mirror in, set it up here, we'll find the top, we'll mark that three feet just the same and put three mounts on top. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tape all that off Then we'll get the laser level out. Well, it's already out, but we will do that. We'll probably just time lapse it all so you guys can follow along and you guys can see that is how we're gonna mount the mirrors. And then once I get them up, I'll show you guys exactly what it looks like and kind of how to use the anchors and all that. I'll show you guys how to use the anchors when we get to that point. But we're gonna go ahead and map all this out and get to hanging. I have my level on here centered so I know it's on the center line and now I have a line down here. So all I'm gonna do is take my level, get down here, put my big head in the way so I can't see it, put it at zero, and then I really don't have to have it perfectly level because I have the level. So all I'm gonna do is take my pen, mark it, go down 12 inches on the line, mark it 12 inches this way and mark it. So now I have my three holes. I'm gonna go ahead and mark all of these and then I will put the anchors in. I'll get the camera nice up close so you guys can see it. We'll put the anchors in and we'll be done with the bottom holes for the mirror. I guess to check it out, these are the wall anchors, just a standard anchor. I don't know how the focus is on this thing, but just a standard anchor. And then the mirror mounts have a screw and the mirror mount and the screw goes into the anchor. So the holes that I just marked, we got a drill bit that is the same width or a little bit smaller than the anchor. So we're gonna drill a hole. We're gonna hammer the anchor into the hole and then screw the screw into it with the mount on it. Then we can bring the mirrors over and set them down on those mounts. All right guys, mirror number one is up. It did not go as planned. My plan did not work. The, uh, basically these mounts had to come away from the wall to put this in. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult than that. So we're just gonna hang them one by one. This one is up though, you can see. Nice and clean. So now we got uh, three more there, four more on this side, and then we'll move on to something else. All right, all the mirrors are up. We just raised the lights up a little tighter to the ceiling. JT is fixing a couple to make it flush, but these are some of the guys from, uh, from gonna be working out here. There's your boy JT, y'all seen him before. And then these bums back here, got Levi, you know this clown right here. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, uh. We're getting some work done. We're about to, uh, I'm about to start hanging some TVs and these guys are just tweaking the lights. You can kind of see if you look from here. I'm gonna go hang some TVs. Once I figure out what I'm gonna do, I'll show you guys how I'm gonna hang the TV. All right guys, so you can see I have the TV here facing away from me. These brackets are what goes on the TV. This is gonna be on the wall and I basically wanna put this on here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this better when I'm not recording, but I wanna see that the total height of the TV is about 26 inches. I'm gonna hold this bracket up and I basically wanna see where the bracket is compared to the height of the TV. Then when I get on the wall, I can decide. So the bracket is around 11 inches, the top of the bracket at 11. Basically, I know the TV is 26, so I'm gonna go on the wall, find 26 where I want it, and then 11 inches up from the bottom of that I'll mark, and that will be the top of my mount. We'll mount this to the wall, and then the TV will latch onto it. All right, so the TV, like I said, the from the bottom of the TV to the mount is 11 inches, so we're gonna go, we gotta figure that out here. So I'm gonna leave nine inches here so that we have room to put these light bars. So I'm gonna go up, the nine inches plus the 11 inches, and that's where we're gonna be the top of our mount. So I'm gonna go, this is, the bottom of this is the top of the mirror. I'm gonna go up 20 inches somewhat here in the middle, mark it, and then use our level, come up here, get it level, and that's the top of our mount. All right, so these anchors are some of my favorite to use, guys. You just mark the holes, drive it in, and then the screws are gonna go right into that. We'll put two in there, and then we're gonna put our mount on, and then we'll just put the screws the big screws into the big hole and then some smaller screws into this. It should be plenty. All right, so you guys see I got these big bolts. I got it level, centered. These are gonna go straight into the stud so it's not gonna go anywhere. And then we'll put the smaller ones over here on the end. So I'm just gonna, man, no issue there. I don't wanna go too tight. I wanna make sure that it's level and I get all these screws in before I tighten it all the way down. So over here, and I wouldn't recommend hanging a whole TV with just these, but we're gonna use these smaller screws into those anchors with these washers. I'm just gonna get them started. There you go. All right, we out for the night. We got one TV up. The fellas is about to head out. We got the rest of the TV lines marked and everything so I can mount them. Hope you guys gain some knowledge from some of this. It's kind of hard, guys. I'm trying to get some work done, but I'm also trying to show you guys the process. So we're gonna hang the rest of the TVs tomorrow. We brought the other box of lights in here to do the lights above the mirrors. And then we gotta get this place clean before we start rolling stuff in. So we're gonna get these boxes out of here, get the floor swept up, and uh, probably won't be out here tomorrow because it is Super Bowl Sunday and we got a Super Bowl party. But the next day I get out here, I'll have the camera with me and I'll catch you guys up on whatever else we have to do. All right guys, I left the gimbal at home, so we're going back to the old iPhone today, but I'm out at the shop, it is Monday. Gonna get a lot done today. The idea is by the time we're done today, it's gonna look something like a barber shop. So we're about halfway there. We're gonna roll all the stations in, all the chairs in. I've already started on these light bars going above the mirrors. I'm gonna show you guys the process on that side. Right now, I just got the internet installed. You guys can see it over here. So we have internet now, and I'm gonna go ahead and hook the speakers up so we can have some music in here while we're working. I'm gonna go ahead and hook the smart plugs up so the lights will come on with the spark plugs. So smart plugs. So I'll show you guys that process. You just gotta follow the instructions. They're probably all slightly different. We're gonna download an app on the iPad and connect those smart plugs, and then I'll be able to push a button and all the lights will come on. All right guys, so these are the mounts for the home pods. There's two screw holes. I'm just gonna do one. So I'm gonna go up above the TV right in the middle, put one anchor in the wall, mount this, and then the speaker will go into that. All right, guys, so these are the smart plugs, uh, Tepo TP Link smart plugs. Here it is, right here. It does have a button on the side as well. And I'm gonna go to the app store right here, download the app on the iPad. All right, guys, we're just gonna add a device over here, add device, plugs. Hopefully, it will find it. Let's see what this is called. This is a TP15 allow, and it should find it. Plug in your device and check if the device is blinking orange and blue. So it is blinking orange and blue. Already orange and blue. Should be connecting. And then it's gonna be connected. I can move it up to the lights. It's gonna go up here and plug into the lights. And then when I hit the button, it'll all turn on. Go ahead and name it lights one. All right guys, so I have added all six lights you see here. These are all not in here, not in the wall. So obviously they're not showing up here, but at the top I made a group, hit the group. And boom, these two come on. Obviously I'll plug in that and that and these bars and they will all be on this group. Sorry for the reflection. So you just hit off and they go off. Now I got these iPad mounts basically guys, I've already measured, but they go on the iPad like this. Go ahead and flip it over. And I've measured and basically from hole to hole, it is eight and a quarter. So over here where JT station is gonna be, I've marked eight and a quarter. I'm gonna put some anchors in the wall and mount the iPad.
All right, guys, you can see it's dark, but we got it all set up. So now when we hit on, boom. All the lights come on. Now, once we finish those light bars, they will be on there as well. You guys leave me a comment. Let me go turn the other lights on. So we got some old standard lights in here that we were using. They're a little bit yellow. So do you think it looks better with them on? Uh, you can't really see it on the on the phone. Looks like they match here. In here, they're, they're definitely a lot more yellow or off. It's not a huge light difference. Now we're gonna work on these light bars. Levi is painting these. You guys will see what they're for in a minute. Basically, it's going to space the barber pole out from this wall over and they're gonna sit like right here. And now we're gonna work on the light bars and we gotta do it over here. So a lot of work to do on that, but then we can start rolling stuff in and it should start looking like a barber shop. All right guys, so we got the level going on the mark where we need it. So basically I can just come here, get this bracket sitting on the laser level light. I was over holding it up at the end of the wall. Just put one screw in. These are super easy. Boom. And we'll just move our way down, put all these brackets on, plug them in and they'll be good. All right guys, so the light bars are on. Now when you hit on, the bar and the ceiling comes on. Got a little bit of a sag, you guys can see. We're gonna take uh, some white nails and hold the middle of the bars up and just tack a nail into it to get rid of that little droop that you can see. But pretty much got the lights up. Now we're gonna get some stuff out of the way, start rolling some stations in, put them in front of the mirrors, then we can bring the chairs over, keep moving. All right, little break time. We got all the chairs and mats in here. It's starting to look like a barber shop. We were just saying it looks like a black and white photo. There's no color in here yet. I'm gonna go ahead and get the illusion capes out, throw them on the chairs, and we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna try to hang the barber poles. I don't really know what's next, but it is moving along. we we'll take a little break. Oh man, get back to you guys in a second. All right guys, Levi is gonna start bringing stuff over. These are all the towel bins and trash cans. I'm gonna work on the barber pole. So I'm hoping that this turns out looking good in the end, but basically, if you guys can see, the trim is here for the window. If I put the barber pole here, half of it is gonna be behind the trim. So we're gonna put these four by fours on the wall here using those brackets, and then the barber pole will attach to it and hopefully be somewhere more out here. So I have a template back there. We're gonna take one of these, and this cardboard piece is basically the size of the four by four, but I'm gonna basically go an inch from the top and the bottom, mark the holes, then I'm gonna know where I wanna put the brackets. We'll go ahead and attach the brackets over there, up in the corner, and then we can attach the four by four to that, and then we'll attach the barber pole to that. All right guys, so believe it or not, this is one of the more complicated parts of mountain barbecue. Basically, we gotta put these brackets on, figure out how far apart the holes are. And I did this in my studio and it did not go as easy as maybe it looked. Put these threaded pieces into here and then they're gonna go, they come through the barber pole. We'll go ahead and lock that on with this nut right here. All right, so you can see the brackets inside, but we have to make sure that they're centered and then measure from hole to hole and find where we're gonna mount it. And then we'll go mount these and put the barber pole up. All right, so I don't wanna get too complicated with you here, but I'm gonna go ahead. This is a four inch centering and then this uh, straight edge has zero and it goes to nine inches both ways. So I'm gonna find the middle, there's the middle, and then eight and five eighths doesn't split evenly, but I'm gonna do four and a half, no, four and a quarter. And down here, we will go four and a quarter. So that is eight and a half. And then up here, I'm gonna just go another eight higher. That's gonna be my top. Hope that made sense. So if I put it here and here, then the pole is gonna be down on this. So what I wanna do is actually line this up with the middle of that. I'm gonna go ahead and just mount the top one and then measure down eight and five eighths, and we'll do the next hole. Bro, this shit drives me nuts. All right, so now, now from these holes, we'll go down eight and five eighths. Honestly, even easier. So eight, five eighths is right there. That'll be the top of our other two holes. Now this should go on there if I did it right. And there's your barber pole. Now I just put the little knobs on there. All right, that's it. Just for fun, we'll go ahead and plug it in. Barber pole one is up. All right, I'm gonna show you guys, this is the Clutch jersey. It says Clutch 02 on it, kind of for our second shop. Just to, we have one in the first shop that says Clutch 16, the year we open. I'm not gonna show you guys how to hang everything that we're gonna hang, but basically you need to figure out where you wanna get it. I'm gonna do it straight down in the center of this TV. So I'm gonna find that middle. Then I'm gonna figure out the length between each of the mounting points, almost 23 inches. I'll get it accurate before I hang it 
it up. Then I'm gonna come up here from the center point, put it in the middle, mark both of my spots, put my anchors and my screws in, and that will hang right here. So you guys can do that with everything you have to hang. Basically find the center point, wherever each of the mounting brackets is, and then you go from the center out each way. Same way we really just did that barber pole, and we'll mount it. So I'm gonna do that real quick, a little time lapse, and we're just gonna keep hanging stuff up. All right, guys, we're done for the night. The lights are up. It's out with the capes. We got the jersey mounted. The waiting area is ready. Got some stuff up front. I'm just absolutely hating these barber poles. We're gonna find something that we can put right here to cover this, because it looks like an eyesore. I thought it was gonna look better than that. Got our new how to download the app and five-star review. Google, uh, scan that and it'll take you to the review page. And you can see these chairs are going way over. So we may move a couple of those chairs maybe to like that area right there, but pretty much done. So of course I will check in with you guys the next time we're out here. We might come out here tonight. We're on a roll. So we may come out here tonight and try to knock it out, but we are almost done. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Got a little bit left to do and then we'll check it out opening day. All right guys, so it is time to do the cameras. You can see I have them all laid out here. This is the hub. Basically you're gonna download the Blink app. I can't show you guys because I'm on my phone. Download the blink app set up a new system you're going to scan this qr code then you're going to one by one scan this and add a camera but once we get to the mounting point i will show you guys how i mount them and uh, we'll have the cameras done all right guys so they're all linked this is the mount we're just going to put a screw on each side and this is the waiting area so i'm going to put it up there there's an outlet right there we're going to put it on that outlet and it will aim over at the waiting area I guess so again, I gotta have my phone to check them, but now I can look at them on the app, get back up on the ladder and adjust them to make sure they're looking right. I can't show you guys that, but super easy. You just pull them up, you can move it. You can literally watch it as you move it, make sure it's aiming in the right direction. And once all the cameras are done, I'm gonna go hang the big TV up front. All right guys, so the TV is actually a little too heavy. I'm not gonna try to swing it up there by myself, but we got the mount up here, sturdy as heck. And next time I got somebody out here to help, We'll throw the mount up there. Pretty much done though, guys. I got some mess to clean up. The stations are in. I got this little cape display, a little bit of artwork to hang up, but not a whole lot left except to just fine tune, get the guys to move their stuff over here. And like I said, my guy's about to come start on this mural in the back wall, but you're gonna have to wait until the next part of this series. Check out the finished product. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you guys how to put the window decals on. I already have this up there. It had coming soon, I took that off. I'm gonna show you guys, but the first step we have to do is clean the windows. All right, guys, so I apologize for being so close, but I gotta have my laser level here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I got the laser level. I found the center of my window. I marked the center of these. Now all I have to do is get this up here. So basically we wanna hold it up, find our center, line it up perfectly with the lines that we drew. And then both of them are gonna match because we have the center point on both. Now we have our tape, so we're gonna take it down to that and we're gonna tape it in place. Now it's held firm. I'm gonna take my squeegee, I'm gonna pull it down. And I'm gonna start to peel the backing paper off. And this front is called transfer tape, I believe. So you see the decals are gonna stay on it. As you peel this off, make sure that your decals are coming off on that. Now I'm gonna hold this up, make sure that transfer paper or the uh, backing paper is up. Now I have it up, I'm gonna pull it tight and I can start to squeegee it on the window. And then you just kind of peel this up as you go, get to the next point and you see the transfer tape holds the graphic and then we'll peel that off next we're almost to the top now we're gonna go over this one good time decent amount of pressure make sure that it's all stuck so we can peel the transfer tape off and we'll have our graphic on the window now you want to pull like this you don't want to pull out because you'll pull these off so we're gonna pull diagonal so it should come off it should be just fine there it is
I guess so there it is. I'm not a professional installer. Couple of little wrinkles on this. I don't know if you guys can see it, but nobody's gonna be looking that close. From back here, it looks perfect. Got the address underneath. Got the hours on this door, hours, the Facebook and Instagram, and then our new app we just put out over here to download the app to get an appointment. So that is almost the last thing we have left to do. I still gotta get that TV up. I actually got the TV all the way out and it was broken. I think you can see over here. Yeah, big gash in the box right here. So busted the screen, so I gotta get another one. But the mount is up, the ATM's here, the cooler's here, and that is all we have left to do. All right, guys, that is it. We got the TV up. Finally had a problem at Walmart. They didn't want to take the other one back. I didn't take no for an answer. Back to kind of speaking up. I learned from my dad. Don't take no for an answer when you can't. So I told him, like, there's no way you're leaving me with this broke TV and making me buy another one. So they did an exchange, funny enough, with the receipt. It was out of date and they wouldn't take it back. So they did it as an exchange without the receipt and cheated the system. So TV is up. I can't show you the rest of the shop because the mural is done. But guys, it is pretty much ready. I'm going to end this video now because everything is pretty much finished. In the next episode, you guys make sure that you're subscribed and you don't miss it because it's going to be opening day. My guy JT is going to get everything moved over with all the barbers while I'm out of town. I'm going to come up here first thing that morning and we will hit opening day. You guys can check out the finished product. I'll probably do a little nice cinematic little thing for you guys and you guys can check it out. And I'll probably get some feedback or thoughts from all my barbers that are going to be out here on what they think of the shop. So if you guys missed any of the videos in this series, click right here and check that playlist out and make sure you guys stay tuned for episode 10 opening day.